Hello YouTube divers, this is Waterdive 122 and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Coda of Soda. So today we are going to be talking about a soda that I have wanted to review on this channel for quite a while now. And here we are. So today we are going to be talking about the one, the only, Cheerwine. So Cheerwine, first established in Salisbury, North Carolina in the year 1917 by a man named L.D. Peeler. This soda was created amid a national sugar shortage that was going on in the United States at the time. And in my head, in my head canon, I actually believe that this sugar shortage what occurred because of the lack of cargo ships that was going from Europe to America at the time. Because World War One was still going on, there were submarines and naval blockades pretty much everywhere you looked. Off the coast of off the coasts of Europe, making these harbors and cargo ships, basically travels by water were very very dangerous during World War One because you never know when a submarine could be lurking down underneath the water and and it can potentially sink your ship, destroy your ship. It was it was very it was a very scary time making sugar and many other exports very very scarce um and um but however that did not stop that did not stop P ld peeler from creating this soda he made this soda during the sugar crisis and it was because from a st louis salesman who actually sold him the wild cherry flavor that this soda has that blended very well with many other soda flavors that this soda was born and since 1917 it has been going on very strongly here in north carolina and recently and i'm talking about 1990s as of the 1990s rather um this soda has been seen more in places like south carolina florida georgia west virginia and virginia so that makes me a little bit happier that more states are selling these sodas because let me tell you something cheer wine a very fantastic soda, very fantastic soda, and I know this is going to drop some controversy, especially with my fellow North Carolinians. But I actually think that this is a rather underrated soda. Do I think do I think it's as good as some of the big name sodas out there, like Dr Pepper, or Coke, or Pepsi? No, not really. But good great good gravy. Do I think it deserves more attention? Kind of like how I feel with RC Cola. It needs more love, especially outside of North Carolina. Um, so that's why I recommend that if if any of you are planning on visiting North Carolina um, and you're stopping by a gas station and or a huge supermarket, keep your eyes peeled for this soda because, and especially if you are a fan of cherry flavored products, like whether that be it, cherry flavored drinks, cherry flavored candy, cherry flavored anything. Keep your eyes peeled for cheer wine because it is, and this is a cold hard fact, the most beloved and most popular cherry flavored soda in the whole southeastern region of the United States. And that is a cold hard fact. Not subjected. That is a fact. Absolutely. And I think it absolutely deserves it because in my opinion... There is absolutely no other cherry sodas that even light a candle to this soda. Like, I guarantee you that if it wasn't for cheer wine, most other cherry flavored sodas and or drinks would exist. It's just that plain and freaking simple. I will just tell you that right now. Um, this, is, this is the king of cherry flavored sodas. Absolutely no doubt about it. Now, why is it the king of cherry-flavored sodas? For one thing, it's sweetness. Its flavor is absolutely incredible. Personally, I'm not typically a huge fan of cherry-flavored products, like cherry-flavored drinks, cherry-flavored candies, etc. But I'm willing to make an exception with Cheerwine because it handles its flavor so well. It's a perfect balance between its flavor and fizziness. The fizziness is 
it's there. It's not like it's a complete non-factor with this soda. But it's very, very thin. It's very crisp. It's very, it's very hard, if that makes sense. Like, it's hard as a stone, whereas the fizziness from, uh, let's say, A&W Root Beer, for, exist, for example, is very, very soft, very, very thick, just very, mmm, 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 very, very, very good. That's not to say the fizziness that your wine offers isn't, isn't good, because it is. It really is. It's just very hard, very crisp, and it's it balances perfectly with its flavor. Now the thing that makes this soda stand out the most, in my opinion. It's incredibly amazing aftertaste. The aftertaste is hands down a top three aftertaste experience from a soda that I've ever had. Period. End of discussion. Like, it's up there with sodas like RC Cola and um, uh, freaking Hank's Root Beer with some of my all-time favorite aftertaste experiences with sodas. It's just that good. What more do you want me to say? It's just absolutely phenomenal. Cheerwine, fantastic soda, and if you're a fellow North Car Car Carolinian like myself, you, we can all agree with it. We can all agree with that statement. I absolutely love this soda. Phenomenal stuff. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do the taste test. So, cheers. Oh, yeah, baby. So good. <clears throat> and also, before we sign off, if you're a fan of Dr. Pepper, you will really enjoy this soda. This soda tastes almost exactly like Dr. Pepper. Like, it's very close. It's right on the line. It's fantastic. All right, so with that said, that concludes this edition of Coda of Soda. Thank you so much for watching, my fellow YouTube divers. This is Water 122 signing out. Ready to dive and more fun on YouTube. Thanks for watching.